he might be the happiest man alive right now. At least in Fort Worth, Texas, currently. Yeah, so this is a, a wild, a wild ride for a video of big timers. We had some problems with our trailer coming back from Lake Whitney, practicing for a tournament. On our way back, the uh, wheel started smoking on our trailer. And so we we just tried to make it home and we made it home. Poured some water on the, uh, on the wheel and it was just steaming so much, like it was so hot. We just left it and the next morning when he tries to move the trailer, the wheel just falls off. We figured out that the bearings had not been packed with grease in a long time and they basically exploded on the highway. So that ruined our axle. The spindles were completely marred and you couldn't use them anymore because they would create fi friction. We bought a $300 new axle. It gave us an upgrade on our easy loader trailer uh, for our 1998 speeder. Yeah, so it gave us a probably about a two and a half inch lift, but we didn't have to make a custom axle because the axle that we bought right here was a um that axle is 74 inches long basically from from uh point to point on the uh on the trailer and so um and the the skeeter the original one was 73 and a half inches so we were half an inch short so We'll just have to show you the whole the whole story to figure out how we got that that axle to fit, but it's working. So that guy over there, he's somewhere down there, um, is now jacking up the trailer to put the wheels back on so we can go put it back in storage. So yeah. Okay, so the good thing about this situation is that um, this happened uh, basically in our off season of my uh, THSBA tournament trail. And so we've got about a month till, well, I guess really like a month and a half till my next tournament. And um, so we've got time to fix this problem. And obviously if you have a a trailer that's not working you can't get your boat anywhere so um but that's the good in this situation is that we've got a lot of time and it happened at the perfect time uh the bearings exploded at the perfect time so yeah we've got room to breathe right right exactly 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 well said well said small time fishing let's go I'm real hopeful for small time fishing's sake that this doesn't become a comedy video um, because again, we don't know what we're doing, but our, um, as he said, the spindle was really chewed up. This is actually part of one of the bearings that won't come off because it's so chewed up. See all that marring, all of those marks on that? Just jacked up. And my problem is this pin right here um, by just going and buying a different axle um, at Tractor Supply or um, Northern Tool, you know, that, that won't be exactly perfect. So I thought about having the spindle taken off and somebody welding a new spindle on. Um, and people do that, but it's costly. And I no, don't know that it's worth it. So uh, a guy at North Texas Trailer, his name is Sonny. Uh, real nice guy said uh, to get a straight axle and install it so one of the problems I saw was going to be getting that pin through through the leaf spring and he said you don't have to do that just get a bolt a hardened bolt like a uh, an 8 or something like that and um, and just put it through there and keep the spring together that way and then install the straight um, the straight axle with some u-bolts so we're gonna see if that's gonna work or not there's our straight axle came from uh, tractor supply 
it's got it's an idler hub this is the one that we got so if you're interested if you're doing the same kind of repair then this is the one that we got that uh, also means no new hubs that's right we didn't have to we took back our hubs that we bought so this is the one you're looking for if you've got an older skeeter and you're wanting to replace the the axle so we'll show you what it looks like whenever we get there okay so basically what he's doing right now is making a giant popsicle stick so that the um the hard flat edge of the wood uh probably won't be able to wedge into that tighter space but if we have a smooth transition um it might be able to slide in between those two leaf springs and give us just a quarter inch on each side to where we can fit this axle on. So we'll see if it actually works. giant popsicle stick so if you've got an older uh, easy loader trailer you know that this is a problem uh, that the old axle was a custom sized axle about a half an inch difference than the ones that you go buy at tractor supplier northern tool and so <clears throat> so we're seeing if we can change this leaf spring uh, a half inch and so that's what we're well, doing a quarter inch on both sides right half inch total yeah. right quarter inch on both sides um so that we can use a 300 hundred dollar axle rather than a custom 700 hundred dollar axle right so if we had to get one of these built it would cost a lot more than 300 bucks um and so we're also making a modification on the trailer this time uh, because this is a straight axle from the four inch drop axle that it had um it rode really low to the ground and I was always a little bit uncomfortable with maybe hitting a bump and the, the, the tire hitting the, the fender. And so I think this actually would be an upgrade overall to the to the ride of the of the boat. Um, it also could be an absolute disaster. So we'll, we'll see. We, we have no idea what we're doing. A little bit flick flat. <laughs> I'm gonna show you where we're at. We have a C clamp that is uh, holding one side of the popsicle stick in place here on the spring, on the leaf spring. And we are gonna go put it on the other side and see if we can't get that leaf spring 74 inches away from the other bolt. I, I'm excited. Third you, time's a charm. Are you guys excited right now? You should be excited. Be excited with us, big timers, be excited. We're about to see it happen. Oh man, it's a little too much. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, False just, start. Just try it. Thank you, Ryan Linus.
grow. Oh my gosh. I know you have to tighten anything down, I don't think. Mm -mm. Man, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed, uh, you should rethink your life. But um, there's always going to be uh, some great content coming your way. Um, I don't always know what it will be, but I'm sure it will be pretty big time. Um, yeah, if there's a part two of this video, you know that uh, our plan failed. And pray for us. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. You know it. Go do some big time fishing. I'm small time fishing.